Yo, what's up, everyone? This is the one and the only Mark Spencer. Once again, everyone, I'm back for UFC 111 review. Folks, UFC was awesome. Last night's show just proved that it was another great show by the fans and by the stars of the UFC. Dana White still putting on good shows, no doubt. He had boxing on that night. He had all a bunch of stuff. WrestleMania weekend tomorrow today. Um, uh, big WrestleMania, a huge one, you know, no doubt about it. Some Hall of Famers going to the Hall of Fame, you know, so it should be good. Vince McMahon, Bret Hart. Now let's move on to the big fight that happened last night, GSP versus Dan Hardy. I mean, it went the whole way. GSP outworked Dan Hardy. I thought Dan Hardy was going to win by one punch knockout, but GSP just proven that he is one of the best in the business. And what he does best. I know his wrestling game has got better and better. Every time you see him fight, you know, you see he's he's learning the, the art, the, the craft of a true martial artist, a true ultimate fighter, a true legend, a legacy. Um, you know, you talk about Anderson Silva, you talk about Fedor Emelianenko, you talk about Frank Mir, you talk about the Brock Lesners, you talk about Kimbo Slice, you talk about Tadi Hirogomi, you talk about all these greats. George St. Pierre separates himself from all of them. He's a guy that doesn't give up. He fights different styles. He fights different ways. The guy's amazing. He can do it all. Takedowns, kicks, boxing, tie, um, tie um, jiu-jitsu. I mean, he learns from the best, the Gracie family. I mean, come on. And he had a great tie coach. I mean, he, he, he knows the basics of fights. He said he wasn't proud of at the end of the fight of what he did. He had made some mistakes. But Hardy, man, I mean, he got an arm bar on Hardy. I thought he was going to break his arm off. But, man, I think Hardy's body was, like, made out of rubber. That's what he said. But, you know, I was still surprised. And Hardy was able to get out of that, man. I thought he would have tapped. But he showed the heart, man, the heart of a lion, you know. You know <laughs> those Brits, man, I'm telling you. Dan Hardy he showed you you're the real deal, man. You're, the, you're for real. You're ready to fight. You're a young fighter. And you're ready to go. Uh, I mean, you're up there the upper echelon of ultimate fighters, I mean, mixed martial arts fighters in the world, talk about MMA unless you talk about, you know, star power, uh, he, you're becoming a star, and let me tell you, it's not that easy, you know, Frank Muir got destroyed last night by Shane Carwin, I read some of the highlights, and, uh, you know, it was a knockout, I mean, it was first, second round, first round, I think, he caught him with something, I mean, and that's what happens. Carwin just has some bombs in his hands, man. And he, he caught uh, um, Frank Mir, and Frank Mir went down. So if the fans were looking forward to a Frank Mir, Brock Lesnar 3, it ain't going to happen. It's going to be Carwin versus Brock Lesnar in July. And that fight should be good on the 4th of July. Wouldn't that be sweet, eh? So, in my final analysis, folks, it was a pretty good UFC, all in all told. You know, I only saw, like, 10 minutes of it, but it was pretty good, you know, it was pretty good, I got to say, I mean, I talked to some fans last night, and, and they are telling me, you know, that it was a good fight, you know, sometimes you don't get to see great fights, but it was a good fight, man, it wasn't the best fight to watch, but it was still fun, it was enjoyable, everybody was into it, it was real entertaining, and, and that's what it's all about in the end, folks, you know, you just got to go have some fun. There's not much really things fun to do nowadays. You got NHL playoffs coming up, truly. You know, NBA playoffs too. NCAA tournament. I mean, we've seen some upsets in that too. But when it comes to UFC and they put on good shows like this, that's why they're the, the, the creme de creme in the MMA world right now. But uh, I can't wait till the next Strike Force. It's next weekend. It's going to be on CBS again, folks. So there's going to be no fader on it, but it's going to have Dan Henderson against. Um, Oh, what's his name? Uh, one of the young guys in the company. So it's going to be a pretty good uh, fight. Uh, hopefully it's good. They put on a good show for the fans. You know, I know all me and my friends will be watching it. I mean, we're big for Strike Force fans. We see a lot of Pride guys from the days of Pride. You can see in the UFC with Vandalay Silva, now Tadio Gomi. Next week is going to be on Ultimate uh, Fight Night. And the Ultimate Fighter will be returning with Chuck Liddell and Tito Ortiz as the coaches. So I can't wait till next Wednesday. Um, this Wednesday. It's going to be pretty amazing. You know, some things are meant to happen. So we'll see what happens this week 
in MMA. So, this is the one and only Mark Spencer saying thanks for watching, y'all. And remember, keep fighting.